RFID for University Hospitals Plymouth is an exciting new development that will help us to better track and manage our devices. So what is it? RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification and is used to locate and identify devices. In our trust, it will be used for medical devices and equipment managed by IT and SDU. The basic principle is that antennas will transmit high frequency radio signals throughout the hospital and transponders within our new labels will send back data to those antennas identifying the device and its location. Some of the key benefits are that clinical staff will be able to check nearby available devices from their neighbouring wards or view live availability from the medical equipment library. As an organisation, we also hope this will deter theft and so reduce the cost of purchasing replacement equipment. And if a device is missing, anyone can view its location history and its last seen location. And finally, from a technical perspective, we will be able to track and locate every device that is due maintenance, whether that be routine annual servicing or an essential upgrade issued by the manufacturers. All of this combined will reduce costs, improve availability for everyone and ensure as many devices as possible are functional and performing as expected, which overall comes together to improve patient safety and the quality of service we can deliver. You may have already noticed new labels appearing on medical devices, and these are indeed RFID ones. Depending on performance, different sizes may be used, and where labels aren't effective, additional tags are available, like these. It's important that these are not removed from devices. The antennas around the hospital are easy to miss if you're not looking for them. They're white square panels situated along key corridors like these. To begin with, the project will be rolled out across levels 2 to 7 within the main Dereford building. At a later date, plans are to expand across levels 8 to 12. There is also scope to expand the project to external sites too. From the small footprint of level 2 to the complex maze of level 6, our strategic positioning of readers will ensure that we cover every key corridor and junction and allow us to determine which department or ward a device has entered. So let's see an example. On a typical corridor, there will be an antenna fixed to the wall, constantly emitting an RFID signal. When a device passes by, that signal will energise the RFID label, allowing it to transmit its own signal back. This provides unique data and the antenna location determines which devices have been seen where, as well as the direction of travel. Technicians can also make use of mobile trolleys and handheld scanners that work in the same way as antennas, but allow us to get into any area and locate devices that are stored away or in constant use. RFID works through walls, doors, cupboards and almost every other material up to a distance of 10 metres. Over the past nine months, clinical engineering have relabeled 18,000 medical devices and over 150 antennas will be installed by the start of 2021, meaning we'll be able to start tracking medical devices right away. IT and SDU will all follow soon after. Most of this is powered by Discovery, the database behind the scenes that will allow you to choose and find devices by browsing categories of equipment via easy-to-navigate thumbnails. More detail can also be provided, including specific asset numbers, current location, time of arrival, owner details, and whether any alerts are outstanding. In summary, RFID will track and locate thousands of devices across the Trust, improving costs, availability, and safety. A new online portal will be available for everyone to access, and view availability and location status of any device. We hope that you're as excited for this project as we are and that this video has answered any questions you may have. If you'd like to find out more, do get in touch with the Scan for Safety team. Thank you.